what's happening guys Serpent X here and I wanted to go over a couple things to help you get mining some verge currency as quickly as possible uh, lately I've uh, been going to a local watering hole and a lot of my friends been asking me uh, what to do how to do it all that good stuff back when I was interested in it, it was only eight cents uh, per verge coin and now it shot up to 17 and literally almost two hours ago it was uh, 15 now it's 18 so it's definitely building up uh, to get started you can go to vergecurrency.com and when you first load up everything's at the top usually your operating system will automatically detect and it will have the recommended wallet right here uh, but you can go down to the bottom for some alternative wallets uh, you want to get the Electrum wallet not the Tor one unless you're an avid user of the Tor browser and have it loaded prior to launching your wallet but you have Windows you have Linux and you have uh, Apple OS X Electrum wallet so grab yourselves one of those wallets unless you already have Konami, Coin Ami. Uh, of course, it's unfortunately only for Android, uh, which I do have. This is my main wallet. I use it for all my uh, lesser altcoins, so to speak. It is not available for Apple as of the moment. Uh, it is a mobile app, uh, so your wallet's wherever you are, um, which is convenient for some, but not convenient for others. Uh, but if you want a full node wallet, you can go to Verge Currency. Um, dot com and get the Electrum wallet. I will state the reason I moved to my Konami wallet in the first place is because I was having difficulty syncing or connecting to the network to sync up the blockchain. Here is the full blockchain. If you are not installing an Electrum wallet, you can speed up your install by downloading the Verge blockchain from here. Uh, so, yeah for some of you full node guides uh, like myself with other altcoins you can get that there uh, so just get your wallet set up this program of course when started up will ask you to you know some give you some key phrases that you need to write down store it on a paper wallet in a secure location do not store it in the text documents uh, on your computer just in case whatever reason you get breached so once you get your wallet set up next thing to do is to find some pools the best way to find some pools is you can go to crypto compare and, and search some pools but n crypto compare does not have all of them so i'll recommend something and put them in the links below or at least the pools i have chosen uh so this is yimp.eu uh formerly known as yimp.ccminer.org uh i want verge coin so if you can see this pink area highlighted here that is what we're going for uh, now that we know what pools we're going to go, we need to get some miners. Uh, the miners I have here, the miners that I've seen in other guides didn't work for me besides CC miner, but like the one for the CPU miner was driving me up the wall. So you get CC miner uh, X64, and I will get the link for that, the one that I got from. Uh, and then for CPU, I got CPU miner, and I'll also put a link for that. So to set these, uh, the batch files are roughly the same. You essentially would get a batch file by default. You can just right click edit and change the information. First things first, Zpool posted on Twitter that uh, they were asking people to stop putting pause down here. Uh, some people swear that it gives them an, a better payout and others uh, haven't shown that just just take the pause out of there uh, if you want to do your own research and see whether or not it is going to increase your payout go for it but my goal is just to get you up and running as quickly as possible so in this batch file here we have the program we're going to use to mine and then dash a is the algorithm so if we look at yimp the algorithm we need to mine is x17 so we're going to change this to x17 and I will have this script also in the description but I just want to explain it this is the pool we're going to be mining on so this right here is the pool we're mining on so um, yimp.eu and the port number needs to change the two ports that we have to mine xvg which is the acronym for verge is 3737 or 3777 they're in red by the way which means they're full you see that which means it's going to be hard to get in there. It's like a, a full wild server back in the day or if you're on a legacy account. So you leave your monitor running and eventually you will get in. Uh, the next thing is dash U, which is your wallet. Replace whatever you see in, in, in the description with your wallet address, not mine. Otherwise, you'll pay uh, myself, 
which I would thank you, but no. And uh, you don't need the CPU priority. You can control it. So if you're, you're mining with your CPU and it's just taking too much of a toll on it, you can't do anything. You want a little bit more usability, you can control that uh, by increasing intensity or lowering it. Uh, but I don't really mess with it, it runs fine, but I have a 7700K, so if you do not ch play around with that setting. Uh, this part right here is what determines how you get payout, and it's both on the GPU batch file and the CPU batch file. Dash P is, usually stands for password, but in this case I think it might stand for payment, not entirely sure, but dash P space C equals and then the abbreviation for the coin you want to get paid in. Right now we want to get paid in Verge, so XVG. That means we're going to get paid out in Verge. We're going to mine X11 algorithm on this pool and get paid Verge currency to this wallet. You can leave the comma stats at the end. What this means is uh, places like Zpool and uh, Yimp.eu have a website page called Benches. You can click on it and compare some hardware. Not too many CPU uh, you know, benches in here, only GPUs. But if you leave stats on, uh, your information will be sent to the server and then it will be listed uh, in the last 50 results. So obviously a lot of people are using mining Verge with their GPU, not CPU, but you can do it with your CPU. Just weigh out the pros and cons using whattomine.com and uh, see if it will be profitable for you, okay? Uh, and then you would save the batch file. In this case, I'm not and then I would run it. Uh, like I said right now the server is super full so I may not get in uh, and we'll show you that example here in a second. So now I moved on to the CPU version which I'll also post in the script. Again this is the program we're using. Dash A is the algorithm we're mining. Dash O is the pool we're mining on. Dash U space your wallet dash p and the currency we want to get paid out in this is all you need you don't need the stats or anything else so i will put that in the description i will put a link to the miner in the description you can just download it unzip it somewhere uh edit your batch file and get up and running the only thing you need for the gpu version is with cc miner you're going to need some cuda cuda this is an nvidia uh base guide and a CPU based guide not AMD just FYI so you're gonna need some uh, dev toolkits uh, basically I will put this in the description as well this cool to toolkit click the link in the description choose the operating system you want or you you have uh, which version 10 8 and then choose exe either network or local install it and run it little tip when you install it with the express settings it will overwrite your NVIDIA driver if you do that just reinstall your NVIDIA driver however if you use GeForce Experience or any preset NVIDIA settings you will erase it so be careful otherwise don't choose express choose custom and only install the development toolkit not the graphics driver you can pick and choose what you want to install and not install once you get that uh, CUDA toolkit installed uh, you should be able to uh, move forward if you erased your NVIDIA driver just reinstall it go to your Verge GPU miner folder wherever you extract it and double click and if you notice I'm running both at the same time uh, but I'm gonna get kicked out because the pool is super full there's no room left you can this server can only sustain 3500 it's not really this is not real numbers or real-time numbers but if you leave it open technically what happens is oh, after some time you will be able to get in and start mining verge in a matter of 15 minutes on my 10 and ATI I got 1.5 verge so it is something you can look into the price is growing um, if it's just something you want to learn more about research the company read the white paper check out the support check out the tech specs and see if this is something you're interested in if you it obviously it is because you're watching this video so I'm gonna leave everything in the description to get you up and running as quickly as possible where you're whether you're mining on a CPU or GPU 
Uh, if you have any questions, as always, like, share, or subscribe. Comment below. All that good jazz. And thank you for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Good luck.